So today we're going to learn about the JavaScript object and the dot operator. So a JavaScript object um, is very useful when you want to make your variables more organized. So you might have already encountered this situation where if you're drawing multiple shapes, you end up with something like let x1, y1, x2, y2, y2, and it just kind of keep going on and on. And it's hard to remember which x is for which shape. Um, so a better way to organize this is actually using the JavaScript object. So let's say I want to draw a moon and I also want to draw a sun. And both of these shapes require x, y, width, and height. So what I can do here is creating a let moon variable and turn it into an object by writing um, equal sign followed by a opening and closing curly bracket there. And so now I have this moon object and within that object, I can then assign, you know, as many variables as I want to that object. So, so for instance, I can write x and, and when you're working within a JavaScript object context, when you assign variable, you have to um, write colon after that variable. So the syntax is, is weird, it's, it's irregular, not, not the same as how we usually do it. So, so we will write x colon, and let's say um, variable is going to be 30. Um, if I want to write a second variable, notice that you have to add a comma uh, between variables. So it's just a difference in syntax that, that essentially are going to get us to a very, you know, very similar place as declaring, declaring uh, regular variables. So here um, now I have a x within the moon object, a y within the moon object. I can then go into ellipse and write moon.x, moon.y, 50, 50. And if I hit play, um, I'm going to see my, my variable um, accessing from the x of moon and the y of moon. Right, so let's actually take a deeper look at this this dot um, syntax. <clears throat> the dot syntax here is something called the dot operator, and and the way the dot operator works is that it lets us access um, the subdirectory of an object, um, and this works very similarly to how a, a URL functions, right? So go to any website such as the p5js.org website um, and when, whenever we click on a tab, click into a folder of a website or a subcategory of a website, um, we're gonna see this like forward slash symbol. That kind of take us to like, you know, one layer deeper every time you use it, right? So, so here I have p5js.org forward slash reference and I can click on color and it will bring me to a even deeper subcategory and I can keep going and just go on and on and on. Um, so the dot operator function on, a sim on the same logic, right? So you can get into the subcategory and the subdirectory of an object by using the dot. So in this way, I can now create my let sun and I'm going to make it into an object and I can say x equals to 100, y equals to 100 and now coming down I can write an ellipse and type sun.x, sun.y, 50, 50 and hit play. And, and you can see that the benefits of this is that now our variables become way more legible, understandable, and manageable. We don't have to come up with all different kinds of ways of um, indicating um, the x of the sun and the x of the moon. <laughs>